A nanometer, how big is a nanometer? Um, a micron, let's start with a hair. A hair is 100 microns. A nanometer is a thousandth of a micron, so a nanometer is a hundred thousandth of a hair. Um, hairs come in different sizes. Some hairs are more evident than other hairs. But the smallest thing that you can see with most eyes is about the diameter of a hair, and it's 100 microns. It's about the limit of visibility. So go down by 100,000, and what you get to are things that are the size of molecules, and that's a nanometer. So a typical molecule is about a nanometer in size. And these are the sorts of analogies. This is one which I find useful. If you think about my favorite mountain, which is Denali, uh, because it, it sits on a plane that's quite low here, you see the entire mountain. The ratio of that to that is 10 million, and the ratio of a baby's finger to a molecule is about 10 million. So it's small. And here's the scale that you've seen on many occasions. That's a hair at 100 microns. Spores for pollen are down somewhere around 10. Red blood cells are perhaps 3 microns. Viruses are down around 100 nanometers. Molecules are down around a nanometer. And the reason why, in terms of science, this area has been so interesting is that there's a region down here with molecules, which is what chemistry has done. It makes molecules, and we actually have a pretty good sense of a lot of that. And then there's a region up here, which one can see microscopically, and which has also been the region that people make things top down. They fabricate circuits and do things of that sort in that scale. And the region in between, down in here, for a variety of reasons, has been difficult to look at, difficult to manipulate, difficult to access, so that people didn't really know what was here very clearly. And it's a reason to be particularly interested in that intermediate stage. It's not that it's the smallest thing around, it's between what you can do from the top down in size, from large scales going to smaller, and from what you can do from bottom up, which is little molecules going to bigger molecules.